Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. We're going to do an Innocent Gun Ale. I've got my Innocent Gun glass. I've got my Innocent Gun Oloroso cask. So this has been sent, sent to me by the, the great average Joe. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Uh, there's probably a little bit of reading i got to do with this one. So let's pop her open, see what she looks like. Okay, clear glass. There you go. Has been protected from the light in the box. So what is Oloroso? Apparently it's a type of sherry, a sherry cast. This limited edition innocent gun bottling has been matured in rare Oloroso sherry casks. Excellent, okay, let's see. This bottle comes from the select batch of only 300 barrels, 7.4% um, alcohol by volume, product of Scotland. So there you go. And there's a whole lot of reading. Uh, Oloroso simply means scented in Spanish. An apt name for the wine, for a wine that has such a rich aromatic quality. Alright, so there you go. That's about as much as reading as I'd like to do because I'm illiterate. Oh well. We all know what the. Uh... Oh, lively! Never had a lively Innocent Gun Ale before. Awesome. So uh, they're usually pretty damn filtered quite well. It's clear bottle, you can kind of see that. So I'm gonna only fill it up to about there. <coughs> I have a cough, and I cannot shake this cough. I'm not sick, but I can't shake this cough. Right now, my daughter and I are uh, that's up, my oldest. There, we're watching uh, Legend of Boggy Creek. Awesome movie. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, we're doing that, and I'm cooking up some steaks for breakfast because, you know, nothing better than steak for breakfast. So I figured, what the hell? Let's get into the Oloroso cask. Uh, green label, not to be confused with the Irish whiskey cask. Of course, that's a stout. But uh, awesome stuff. Uh, not too much I can tell you right offhand about this ale without getting into it. So let's get into it. Oh wow, that is a nice, rich, sweet smell. I'm getting, definitely, you're getting wafts of that cherry. Wow, that's good. I'm getting faint earth tones from the hops they use, but I'm getting that cherry, I'm getting wood, I'm getting vanillas. I haven't had too many cherries. Most of the cherry that I've had is those uh, semi-sweet or sweet cherries. It almost smells, this almost smells exactly like, what was it? The treacle? I want to say the treacle. It almost has this either, well no, that can, was it the Canadian cherry one? It smells a little bit similar to that. So let's not get too convoluted here because a lot of, I, we all know that a lot of uh, innocent gun ales do kind of mimic each other. It's a, it's, a, it's a flaw, but sometimes, you know, what, what can you do? Let's get into it. Cheers. Hmm. That's smooth. That's smooth. You never get that twist on the end that I hate. With both of the other ales that I've been trying lately, you get this kind of bittersweet twist to the end that I, really throws my palate off. This one finishes straight through the whole time. It's clean. You have a lingering taste of caramels, toffees, a little bit of that, cher that, that floral sherry quality. Mm. I'm getting now I'm getting kind of almost a walnut. You can taste the barrel. You really can. There's woody, really woody qualities. Not overwhelming vanilla, but there's some woody qualities. You can kind of taste that. Wow, this is really good. This is almost as good. 
I think I gave it like <laughs> I think I gave the rum cask like a ten because I thought it was so good. This is up there. This is definitely up there. Wow, that that carbonation it has just gives it that clean, refreshing, lively quality. It doesn't let anything linger, and sadly to say, because I'm I'm a guy who doesn't like carbonation, this this carbonation helps to clean your palate so it doesn't linger, so it doesn't turn in your mouth, so it doesn't become bittersweet and nasty or lingering or clawing, as some would say, with the sweetness. Wow, that's damn fine. It's really well done. There's a lot of woody notes. One from the cask, but I think it's coming from the hop too, because you have a woody, earthy quality. It finishes with these kind of husky walnuts, which is really cool. I like that. I haven't really got that from an ale before. You're definitely getting your toffees and your caramels. They're kind of under everything. They're kind of, that's the base. And then you have all these kind of dancing, woody, nutty qualities. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not getting very much vanilla. But I am getting those really floral sherry qualities. <sighs> mm. Let's see what is this. Fuck it, this is a green thing. I'm like, ah, I think I've been saying too many, too many of the same things over and over again. We have Source Rare Oloroso Sherry Cast to mature this limited edition. The cast started their life in Spain, but were, were then used to mature some exceptionally fine Scotch whiskey before they came to us. The beer is rich and spicy with lots of nutty caramel sweetness drawn from the wood. So, this isn't just sherry. This is sherry, then a... How would you do that? Oh, whatever. Uh, sherry, then, o a then scotch aged, and then blah, blah, blah. I would like to taste this. Because maybe what I'm getting, those floral qualities, are actually scotch. Maybe that's why, in my fucking mind, this is smelling and tasting so much like some of the other casks, ales they've done. Maybe I would like to try this straight Oloroso cask. No fucking Irish whiskey. No scotch. Or, you know, Scottish whiskey scotch. Um, you already make ales like that. Don't fucking do it over. You guys caught me almost on a rant there, so good thing the camera died out. Apparently these are pretty uh, rare to get, these Oloroso casks, and most of the time the Scottish uh, brewer, uh, brewers, the distillers, distillers, definitely have them as a prize thing. They're very rare, and, and uh, um, what are they called? Innocent Gun, yeah, that's what they're called. Fuck you. Um, you got a chance to get some of the uh, already distilled in scotch um, whiskey barrel versions. But, but I do believe that I would like it to see what it would taste like if it was fresh Oloroso spiced sh sherry and not the... What? I'm burping now. The thing is, now, I'm going to turn this down. I turned it up because I, I figured what the fuck I was just giving a rating. Scotch whiskey has such a distinctive character, true, but it has a very overwhelming character. And when you put these scotches in these barrels, they're very hot, extremely hot. And I mean, you're pushing 126 proof, that kind of thing. So, why is the battery thing open? Well, it said record. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so I'm thinking it kind of killed a lot of those Oloroso cast characters and gave it more of that subtle nuance of floral quality, you know, that kind of thing? Just to bump up the Scotch's floral quality. 
And that is why this reminds me of so many other um, Innocent Gun Ales. It really does. It reminds me, and I, I kind of want to, was it, was it rum cask and then scotch whiskey cask and then you put the, put the beer in it and that's why, you know? And I don't think it is because I think the rum cask definitely stands out for me because there's so many different characters that I, I taste. At least I thought I tasted because that was the first one I ever had. These all taste the same, but they're slightly different. This one st sh totally shines, totally stands out. If you can get the Oloroso cask from Innocent Gun, thank you, Joe, again. Definitely give it a go because it's so clean, it's so nice. There's a little bit of an orange on there, mixing with all that floral quality. Definitely got a dry, nutty finish. I mean, a nutty, walnut nutty. That husk, that, that roasted walnut quality, I'm getting that. You might not get that, they might not get that, but me, I'm getting kind of a roasted husk walnut. Which is kind of cool, because I've never got that from a, from a nail before. I'm not getting any vanilla in this at all. And everybody else might get vanilla. I ain't. <laughs> I'm not going to fall into that category of, well, because you get vanilla from Anison Gun, you're going to get vanilla from all of them. I don't get, I don't get vanilla at all. Not at all. I get woody, definitely, but not vanilla. This is not a boring ale. But I can see if you have had the whole Innocent Gun line and you were just bored to tears with it. This ale would also be boring. Don't get me wrong. Because it tastes a lot like all the other Innocent Gun Ales out there, believe me. But from the ones that I've given, you know, 6.5s or 7s or 7.5s or blah, 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 blah. This is getting a 9, a solid 9. This is very good. Limited edition, so it's not going to get anything higher than a 9. It's very good. Uh, I do hope you can get this. Um, I just... Thanks to Joe, there's no fucking chance in hell I probably would ever got this if 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 it wasn't for Joe. So, um, if you do happen to live in, in an area that you know helps you with the beer that makes you uh, experience English beers and and beers from around the world, definitely give this a go. I I made this a little longer because I had to start it over again, and I, I like to ramble. I mean, I had a beer before this. It was nine person, big bottle. 9% and so you know I'm in ramble mode right now uh, right now my steak is cooking and we're gonna go up and my daughter and I are gonna finish watching the Legend of Pocket Creek together so that's pretty cool but uh, definitely give this a go I think personally uh, I mean even though Chad made the cherry wood you know I mean it sucks because he sucks I mean Dugan made the cherry wood you know the cherry woods it's okay. It's good. It's all right. It's like an eight, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the treacle, to me, had like this off flavor at the end because it wasn't clean enough. It just kind of like, as soon as that sweetness sat on your tongue, it turned into that, oh, I'm fucking molasses. Deal with it. Kind of a quality. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. That's not my cup of tea. So, that's like a 7.5 or 6. Or, or a 7, rather. But this has this, well, we're shooting the shit, so you, you have to deal with me. Because I already gave you my rating, if you don't want to fucking watch it, you'll just shut it off. Um, this has this nice, lively body to it, and the, the, um, the body itself is like a, like a high, medium mouthfeel. No, no, oh, sorry, a high, thin mouthfeel. It's not quite medium, if you know what I mean, like um, between a high thin mouthfeel and a low medium mouthfeel but the carbonation is just so nice it just it, it just you drink it and then it just cleans your palate and then you're just left with this kind of residual woody earthy uh, kind of um, nutty quality and you're like ah oh, okay well let's try that again and, and it's really 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 nice and I think more ale should kind of finish with that <laughs> quality Some burp that plays with your your senses you know and I mean this thing has like two or three steps then most ales have one step or zero steps depending on what, <laughs> what beer you're drinking 
but this has about two or three steps and it's really really nice so um, it's about time I like one of these fucking ales so here we go the Oloroso Ink ooh, ooh. These Oloroso cask. I tried to say oak and cask at the same time. Don't do don't do that. It didn't work. Um, Oloroso cask oak aged beer from Innocent Gun. The limited edition Innocent Gun bottling has been matured in rare oak. And we'll see. The thing is, yes, it's been matured in rare Oloroso sherry casks. That's false advertising, because it has been, but it's also been then completely devastated by, you know, pure single malt, uh, I'm assuming it's single malt, um, Scottish whiskey. Scotch. So which, that would kill most of the Oloroso cask qualities. It would impart it into the whiskey. Yeah, sure. But you drain that out and then you have, you know, basically Scotch with a little extra floor on it. Let. I sound like Jameson now. Oh my god, I'm a dick. What happened? I'll still post this. Fuck you, Joe. I don't care. Jameson likes me. We shoot guns. We have AKs. Fuck. We're back. So it says that uh, in one word about the beer, they use their own malts plus crystal malts to together help impart a signature sweet malty backbone to the brew. The English focal hops provide a balancing earthy bitterness and light fragrant aroma. The alchemic effort the, of the cask give the brew its sweet richness and complexity. A great one to sip around and savor on a hot summer's night with friends. I'm not feeling that one. A hot summer's night? I don't want this. I want something else. I don't know what I want, but I don't want this. I don't, I don't know. A hot summer's night? Give me a Rauk beer. Give me some nice fucking lager Rauk beer around a fire. Oh, yeah. This, I don't know. This is a little bit too... See, the thing is, though, with these beers, they are a little bit too... on either the rich side or malty side, and they kind of... they, they become sickening. Like, I would have one of this and give it a nine. If it came in a six pack, I don't know if I'd give it a nine. I really wouldn't. I'd really have to drink a couple and, and give you my idea because this is a little bit too much for my palate. Um, it, it's not as clean and... I don't know how to describe it really, but like I think if I had three or four of these, it'd be like, I'm done for the night. So, sip and savor, yeah, but with your, when you're around buddies, who the fuck sips and savors, really? Come on. Really? Come on. Anyway, I'm giving this a nine. I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry for this long rant. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. I mean, sorry. I mean, sorry. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody. Really cool video Dave put up with this naked chick fucking... Bam ba dam 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 all this you know like crap shit music and stuff like that and her twerking her ass off. I guess that's a word now, twerking. Um I like it when she tasted her fucking snatch and then you know I like that part. Six fifty six I think it was for the second. Oh yeah. Digging that. Oh the well pump came on, that means it's time to end. It's been all the PA brew news. Oh, thinking about the twerking bitch. Thinking about her tasting her twat. Oh, yeah. Get some more of that up there. We like that. Well, I like that, so fuck you. See you later. Cheers.